All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're fishing the beach again because it's been a little bit rough offshore and it's gonna be like, it's gonna get worse later on in the week. So we're just gonna be fishing the beach, but that's all good. The snook are everywhere right now. It's nervous, come on, get him. Get him. Bait's doing everything I want it to do right now. Except getting eaten. There it is. There's the bite. 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 Oh, good fish. A lot of weight here. A lot of weight. A lot of weight. Just as I said, it's doing everything I want it to do right here. Boom, you get the bite. Whenever your bait gets, whenever your bait is doing the right thing and you have confidence in your bait, it will happen. But if you have no confidence in your bait, no confidence that you're gonna get the fish and you're just BSing, it's it's just not gonna happen. You need to have confidence in your bait. This, I think this is a Omega. That first initial run was crazy. Hope I don't chafe them off. After this, we'll fly the drone. Yeah. My bait sunk right below the, the whole school pilchers and bang. Strong fish. Real strong fish. I think I got a hook in this one. Knock on wood. Felt a lot bigger. There he goes again. There it is. Band stall music right there. So much weight here. Like a lot of weight. But it's, I saw the fish already, it's not that big. It's a pretty good size. Fish and loose drag. Light leader, small hook. This fish is fighting good. He's pretty good. Big one. It's a big one. It's a heavy fish. Heavy one. Right there. Nice fish. Good fight. Put up awesome. 36, three foot mark. 36 inch fish right here. Put up a real good fight. We're gonna get a good revive job on him. We on this fish. This fish fought really hard. Real fat tail, real fat fish, tall fish. Could fit all five fingers across that fish. Get a good revive, he's probably tired. Take as much time as you can with these big girls. This is the future of our snook fishery. Feels like it has a broken back and wants to swim right, can't swim left when I pull it left. Oh yeah, there you go. Biting real good on my thumb, he's starting to swim off. There he is! Got him on! Got his ass on! Thumped it under the drone! Let's go! Thump that shit right under the drone! It's real hard to see fish out here right now. Because the water's so the water is just so turned up. This one, this one fish was in an inch of water. Underneath the drone, kept my bait there, was patient. He whacked it. All the bait out there, look how deep the bait is right now. The snook is just pushing the bait off so deep. He's dogging me. This fish is probably pretty good size. Probably like the last one. Big fish, dark fish. He's right there, his head's out of the water. God, he's fraying good. Big fish, real big fish. Come on, stay on. Stay glued. Here he comes. Running, it's a good one. It's a big one. 
I mean, look how, my, look how bent my rod is. It's barely bent. I'm fishing little to no drag, probably. Probably like four pounds of drag. Oh, yeah. Spin him around. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here. You're a big one. Pretty fish. Alright, he's going a little bit higher there. He's gonna go probably about inch and a half above that line right there. Probably like 35. 35. Oh my God, he ate it. He's on there. Oh yeah. Jack just got hooked up to a nice fish on the drone. I saw the whole thing eat. It looked big. Uh, let's hope it's a big one. Blew up on my bait, half dead pilchard. I had him belly hooked. There's two fish coming down. Chris could see him on the drone. They couldn't find the belly hooked pilchard. So I hooked him in the nose, reeled it across the top. He blew it up. He's head shaking. I just spun him around. Here he comes. Nope, nope, nope. He's still going, that's his fourth. This is the giant, Big Betsy right here. Let's go. Come on, stay glued. This fish ran 100 yards right off the bat. Literally popped my bait, I hit him, he screams 100 yards. Only big fish can do that, 100 yards, and my drag was pretty freaking tight. I'm just gonna gain slowly on him. When he wants to run, I'm gonna let him run. I'm gonna pull back when I can. I'm gonna gain on him when I can, all right? Here we go. I mean, I don't have much drag on him, but I don't want him because he's such light leader that if I, could, if I cut this board out and pull back, it's just gonna pop. He's gonna give up soon. I feel like he's making his last, his last routine. Come on. You literally, this is the whole fight right here. It's like fighting a shark right underneath the boat. You gain on him, you take two yards, he takes five. You gain 10 yards, he takes 50. Look's right here. Oh yeah, he's right there. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, there's another one with it. I knew there was another one with it. Since we've been drone fishing, when I've been up in the sky watching, I've seen a snook run maybe like 20 yards oh, out. Yeah. I didn't 20 yards. You. You this snook yards. was way by where the tarpon are hanging out, like 100 yards out, so it's gotta be a big one. All right, I'm about to put some heat on him. I see him, he's right there. He's right there. He's so green, dude. Like, I try to, I'm actually like putting pressure on him and he just pulls it away. Pull him towards the beach. I see my fish, he's right there. He's right there. Yeah, that's a big one. Look at that fish. That's a girth. There's some girth on that fucking fish. Leader's in the rod. Oh, that's a big girl. That's a big one. Don't, don't, don't you do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, buddy. Woo! That's a girth of Jack. That's a big one. Look at that mouth. Holy oh, shit, this fish is heavy. <laughs> I don't think he's got the length, but I think he's got the width. He's got the girth, but he doesn't have the length, I don't think. 38 inches. Chunky fish, definitely in that 20 pound range right there. We're gonna let him go. 38 and a half inches. Oh yeah, oh my god, this fish is ready to go, holy shit. You got it. All right guys, another sick day on the beach with a 39 incher, 38, 39 incher, somewhere in that range, definitely in that 20 pound class range. So it was the biggest one on the beach yet. And then we got a 35 incher and a 36. So it was a sick day. We saw the tarpon rolling. We wanted, We really wanted to get a tarpon, but just didn't happen they were out really deep and the water was stirred up so it was even kind of hard to find even snook so but if you guys like these videos give them a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you guys want to see more videos tell your friends tell your families we'll get more videos out there 
hopefully four times a week we're gonna try to get going for so right now we're doing about three days a week we want to try to get four so tell your friends tell your family subscribe like these videos comment share them wherever we'd really appreciate it we'll see you guys in the next video